I'm going to show you how you can automate your PowerPoint presentations based on the data you currently have in your Microsoft project files. So first you want to make sure that you have the Engage tab here at the top of the ribbon. And what I'll do is I'll show you a uh, project file I've got over here. So in this project file, um, I've got a series of tasks, I've got summary tasks, and I've got um, resources as well, which I'll show you over here. Um, so if I go to resource usage, I've got four resources that I'm using. Um, one here in red, Sonia, is over allocated. Um, and finally, I've got a fifth resource here, uh, Rocket Richard, who is not being allocated uh, or has not been assigned to the project. Um, and so uh, if I go to the resource sheet, I also have uh, a standard rate for each one of my resources. And um, a couple of things I have in my project file uh, under project information. Because of this setup, I also have a baseline and I have actual values. Um, and because I've assigned uh, resources and I have a rate for them, it means that not only do I have um, work in hours, uh, but I also have a cost uh, in here as well. So my baseline cost is $40,000. Uh, so far I've spent 37000 but I'm projecting on spending a remaining uh, 12000 So um, this 37000 plus the 12000 means that my current value I think I'll be uh, arriving at is 49000 So I've got uh, about a $9,000 uh, delta. It means um, I'm, I'm over budget by uh, 9,000. And then I see the uh, hours here as well. So I've, I've spent 370 hours so far. I think I've got 120 hours remaining. And then finally, um, that means that I think I'll be uh, spending in total uh, 490 hours. And I'm about 76% of uh, percent work complete. Um, so if I close this here, so all this data is already in this project file. Um, so if I close this uh, project file and uh, I go back to uh, PowerPoint, what I'll do now is I'll show you how you can uh, create a uh, presentation based on that data using uh, the Engage add-in. So if you click on Automate, um, just select the Microsoft Project option and select Open. So here there's two options. Um, you can create your own automation from scratch or you can start with a template. So in this case, I'll just start with a template. So I'll click on the Browse button. And then over here, I'll select um, this uh, Microsoft project file, but it could be uh, any project file. And then I'll click Open. So 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. So in about four seconds, it's created an entire presentation based on the data in that project file. So in this case, um, the name of the project file becomes the name of your presentation here. Uh, it automatically applies uh, today's date. And then it also uh, created this uh, dashboard slide. So I've got um, those summary tasks is created here in this Gantt chart. Um, and then over here, I can say that uh, we're 60% complete on all of our tasks. We're 50% complete on all our mil milestones. We're 76% work complete for the overall project. I also have um, a budget uh, KPI over here. And then finally below, if you recall, um, we've spent 370 hours of work so far. We have 120 hours remaining uh, for a total time required of 490 hours. Um, so finally on the following slide, I have more earned value KPIs. So in this case, my cost performance index, my schedule performance index, uh, and so on. Um, and then uh, I've got a Gantt chart, but this time it's a more detailed Gantt chart uh, with the legend. And it shows um, my milestones, my tasks, uh, percent completion, and uh, my summary tasks. And of course, um, if you're familiar with Engage, uh, you'll notice that this is one of our Gantt charts. So if you click on it, it's one of our Gantt chart infographics. These two gears appear. If you click on those, um, you have the dialog window that opens. And of course, uh, you can click on Edit Data, and then you can make any changes manually here as well. Uh, so you always have uh, that option um, to make those changes as well. Um, and then finally, the last uh, slide here. Um, so this was that cost overview. So if you recall, the baseline cost was 40000 um, the cost variance was 9,000, um, but the makeup of that total cost, it was a function of $37,000 of actual cost incurred so far, uh, plus the remaining 12,000 
dollars for uh, the forty nine thousand. So um, this entire presentation is um, created based on the data that's already in your Microsoft project file. Now, um, to show you how this works um, and how easy it is for you to create your own links um, using any standard PowerPoint object, um, I'll do that right now. So what I'll do is I'll create a uh, text box here. And what I'll do is I'll just add resources. And um, so I have the option. I could do um, total resources. So that's what I'll do. I'll just select total resources. Uh, I can also have a text box for assign resources. So in this case, I'll just uh, I'll put a number knowing that it's wrong. So I'll put um, 50. And I know that there's not 50 resources. There's actually uh, five uh, resources. So what you can do now is if you click on the Engage tab and you click on Automate, uh, I'll select Microsoft Project. And of course, I can link uh, multiple project files to my presentation. But in this case, um, what I'll do is I'll just create a link. I'll, I'll click on this uh, button over here. And it's asking me to select the shape. So I'll just select this shape. So I'll link this selected shape. And I could uh, select another uh, Microsoft project file. I can select multiple ones. But in this case, I'll just select the one that we're working with at the moment. So I'll click on Open. And then from here, I've got a series of different options to choose from. So there's multiple options, multiple categories. And within each category, so in this case, tasks and milestones, I can add uh, all of these different uh, project fields. And whenever I click on one, um, there's a small um, uh, description that appears here. Um, but in this case, I'll skip tasks and milestones, um, their schedule, cost, uh, KPIs, um, and resources is what I want. Um, so I'll go back to resources in a second. But there's also a series of different fields for earned value. And uh, finally, other. That's uh, the project name and the dates uh, if you want to show what the uh, date range is for the uh, presentation. Um, but if I go back to resources, what I want to show, I want to show total resources. Um, but I could also show unassigned tasks, over allocated tasks, uh, assigned resources, and so on. Um, so if I select resources, total resources, what's nice here is in addition to showing that value, um, Engage also lets you prepend or append um, different information. So if I were to type in a space here and put FTEs, um, it would show the number, the total number of resources, space, and then whatever information I type in here. So in this case, um, FTEs. So I'll just click on this link field button. And um, what it's doing now is you'll see it just updated. It went into uh, that project file. It found that data field, and it just updated. And then in, finally, it appended the uh, values that we um, entered in the append field. So in this case, uh, FTEs. And so um, that's how you update um, entire presentations and automate them using um, Engage. Uh, finally, what I'll show you if you click on uh, that button, the automate button, um, to see which shape has been linked. So in this case, I'm on slide two. If I select slide two, um, it'll highlight all of the uh, PowerPoint shapes that I've uh, been uh, updated. So in this case, um, this is the start today long format. Um, and then the next one here, that's the CPI. Uh, the next field here that's been linked is the percent task complete. Uh, and then finally, percent milestone complete, and, and so on. So it uh, shows you every field that's been linked. And uh, if you want, you can disconnect um, that shape. So you simply select it and then uh, click on disconnect shapes. Uh, so this is just letting me know that it's permanent. I'll go ahead and disconnect that. And at any point, if I want to go back, so now there used to be 10 uh, shapes that were connected. Now there are only nine because I've disconnected this one. But of course, if I wanted to reconnect, it's just a, a question of um, selecting it and creating this create a link button and uh, relinking it. So that's how you automate uh, entire presentations based on your data in Microsoft Project. Thank you.